whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the last day upon the earth. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Of your grace, in the power of 
give God a great night of clapping for you. Come on, let's celebrate the night of the day of the Prince and the Mary of Love. Come on, let's celebrate the night of the day. We're here to celebrate Vince and Glover today, his life, his legacy, and to lift up his family as best as we can on today and in the days to come. Let us pray. God, we thank you. God, we thank you for the time that we share with Vince and on today. God, we ask you to be with his family, give them joy time of sorrow, give them a peace that will surpass all understanding, God build them, for they may be torn down, strengthen them where they may be weak on today, God let them know that her past no sorrow in the heaven, you cannot heal, God we thank you today, God even on today, let someone be saved, delivered, and transformed. By the power of your Holy Spirit. Yeah. God, we give you praise. We honor you today. We give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Yeah. Come on, give God a praise. <laughs>
Well, let's give them another hand. Such a lot. And we know that y'all covered under the blood. We ain't gonna worry too much about what the city of Miami say, but we came to celebrate today, but we still want to be mindful uh, of the CDC guidelines. Is that all right? So, so what Pastor Bailey is going to do, uh, we're going to solicit four people, uh, somebody from the family, the friends, and co-workers, uh, just four people. If, if you can come now, those four people, so we can identify you. That way, after that four person comes, we won't have a fifth and sixth person. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to us. <laughs> so if we could get those four people, the family, you can come to the podium to my right as we reflect on the life today. Again, I, I don't, I hate to say two minutes, but that's what the program said. So I know y'all gonna respect the program. All right? Well, let's give her a hand as she comes. Because we love you, Patrice, and most definitely we love 
love Vincent. My memory goes a little further back to the Ford Transit. I remember the three of us working at Central West Garage driving school buses together. I remember when we threw you a baby shower and how humble and happy you were at that time. Vincent was a phenomenal, no, Vincent is a phenomenal individual who has transitioned from this earthly body to a more spiritual body where he can be everywhere at the same time. Know this, our hearts and prayers are with you. I have one, another memory, one of my final memories of Vincent, when pandemic hit and overnight work was cut and we were looking at the board scrambling, trying to figure out what work we're going to pick. And we said, Vincent, man, you pick what? He said, yeah, because he always on the board working overnight. He said, you pick what? He said, yeah, overnight cut. That's going to be money cut. Are you talking all the lazy? <laughs> From my class was like, let's get that next place. Let's get that last piece. And he made that possible for us. He's a great, phenomenal individual. You have our prayers and our support. Thank you. Thank you. 
we'll have acknowledgments by ring staff that they're following. Then we'll have the Metro Day Transit Mass Call, then so on.
expressing their love through this arrangement. It comes with sympathy from yours in Christ Healing Ministry, Apostolic Church Inc., Columbus, Georgia, Apostle A, Apostle God, and Thank you. 
especially because there are just so many young people involved in this family. That means that my eyesight, you look younger than you. And so, I need you to know that although Brother Vincent has gone, he's sat on your cat and he's done all kinds of things, you know, he's been your best friend and all of that. I want you to know that there is another man.
But once y'all didn't know that Vincent was just a bus operator for me. See, I got to watch him grow up as a child and play and become a man. And then eventually he came to transit. And the funniest thing about Vincent is when I walked into the division and he would greet me, he would greet me just as all of you. Good morning, Miss Wells. And I said, hey, Vincent, how you doing? He said, I'm good. But one thing I want you all to know, that transit loves you, that we love you. And Betty, Tiffany, Stephanie, y'all just reach out if y'all need anything. To God be the glory to the family. Y'all re represent Vincent through the love that he showed. Represent Vincent through his kind heart that he always displayed. It didn't matter whether he was at 130 George Allen or whether he was at Central Garage. He had the same loving spirit. And to that I say, to God be the glory. Come on, y'all, there's a home going celebration. For God be the glory for the life that he lived, for the kindness that he showed. Oh, glory be to his name. And I salute you. I salute you and may God keep you in his ever loving bosom. Amen. With all Nami Day County Transit bus operators, please stand. Operator Glover. Six three three nine. Second call. Operator Glover. Six three three nine. Last and final call for Operator Glover, 
great many guys. Can I get a witness in here today? 
You see, when God is your shepherd and you are submitted to him, you have his promise that you will not want or lack for anything in this life. Mm -hmm. God will take care of you. You believe that? Yeah. Yeah. David goes on to describe all the ways the Lord has cared for him. David says, he leads me beside the still waters. He, he making me lie down in green pasture. God is leading, guiding, and sustaining us along the way. Just like he did for David. God knew David, and David knew God. And I want you to know today that the same way God cared for David, he cared for Vincent Garber all the days of his life. David states in verse 3 that God restores his soul. It is in the nature of sheep to wander away from the fold. And like sheep, some of us have wandered off into the wilderness of sin, away from God's safety. We have been out of the ark of safety for too long. Can I preach today? And even though we wander off, God is so merciful that he will restore our soul and make us right with him again. First Peter, second chapter, 27 verse says, For ye were as sheep gone astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. Y'all make me preach like a Sunday and get a day. You see, we we all have sinned and come short of the glory. Y'all look at me funny. Look at somebody and say, we, we all have sinned. Oh, they acting funny with you. Look at somebody else say, we all have sinned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to tell you a secret today that the pastor sinned, the usher sinned, the NTA driver said, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yeah. yeah, some of us are looking sophisticated. He ain't talking about me today. You Vincent walked through the valley of the shadow of death. He 
Fear no evil because God is with him. Yeah. His rod and his staff yeah. come with him. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have to travel the path alone because God was right there by his side. God never left him. And he didn't forsake. God gave him rest today. The book of 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, 6 verse says, Paul, Paul says, For I am not ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Yes, yes, Vince A. Glow was ready to be offered, and his departure was at hand. Today is a day of rejoicing because he crossed the finish line. Yes, he, he finished the race. Yes, when, when Vincent Edgar Glover looked over at his life, he was able to conclude that he fought a good fight. He finished his course and, and he kept the faith. Yes, his family can testify today that, that he fought a, a good fight. He, he finished his course and he kept the faith. Yeah, they, they know all about the struggles. They know all about his good fight. Oh, yeah. Yes, Brother Glover was faithful. Yes, he was faithful to God. Uh -huh. He kept his eyes on the prize. Yeah. Uh -huh. Guess what? He never stopped fighting. And he never stopped running. He never stopped believing. Yeah. He never stopped praying. All right. yeah. He never stopped praising. Some of y'all say, what preacher talking about? <laughs> Guess what? None but the righteous shall. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> he endured to the end. Yes, yes, yes. He's walking around the streets of God. Yes, yes. Where the glory shines bright. A place where he'll have no more sorrow and pain. A place where he'll hunger and thirst no more. A place where Streets of pain with gold. The old preacher would say there's 12 gates to the city. Yeah. Jesus would lead him to the fountain of living waters. Yeah, yeah, guess what? He dropped his old drink and picked up a, a new drink. Yeah, yeah. He, he'll walk around heaven all day. But for those of us who remain in both Hebrews, 12 chapter tells us, therefore let us sin. We are all compass about with great a cloud of witness, lay aside every weight and sin which so easily beset us. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. In the midst of trials, tribulations, we can find rest in God. In this life, we all will have to face hardships one day. Yeah, my mama would say, son, if you haven't experienced hard times yet, just keep on getting up in the morning. Yeah, just keep on living. No one is exempt from the trials and the tribulations that come with life. But I got a secret to your problem today that if you take the Lord with you, He will bring you through. How many of y'all know He'll bring you through? Yes, he, was, he knows our undiscovered sorrows and He knows the wounds that bleed deep down on the inside. John. The 10th chapter 11 verse says, I am the good shepherd. Yeah. The good shepherd gives life for a sheep. Yeah. There is no greater love for a man that will lay down his life for his friend. Yeah. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Yeah. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Jesus come to death because he got all power in his hand. Yeah. I wish I had some church folk in here.
do you know the good shepherd? The promise of God's provision, sin forgiven, companionship, and a home in heaven only apply to those who know him. Give your life to God so that you can enjoy the benefits of Psalms 23. May God the shepherd. Let the good shepherd lead you, guide you, and give you rest. Let us stand all over the building as we prepare to leave this place. Fix 